most of sub-Saharan African economies are dominated by the sector. On average, agriculture accounts for about 32% of gross domestic product and employs about 65% of the labor force. But despite being a crucial sector in many economies, agricultural productivity on the continent is still very low. Now, governments and the private sector are, however, working to transform the landscape of agriculture on the continent. And let's find out more about this. Dennis Kitera, the executive director of the African Agricultural Technology Foundation, he joins us in the studio now. Welcome to the studio, Thank uh, you. sir. Now, we often talk about technology, certainly, and the role that it's going to play in the development, uh, the future development of Africa's agricultural sector. Now, the AATF, of which you're the executive director, says that you provide access to appropriate agricultural uh, technologies. How so? Yeah, we do uh, access agricultural technologies about for farmers. Actually, the ATF, the African Agricultural Technology Foundation, is about African farmers, linking them with practical technology solutions. Yeah, yeah. Founded in 20, uh, 2003, right. it has been addressing a critical factor, that is of access and delivery of technologies that are appropriate for African farmers. And what do you mean when you say practical and appropriate technology? They, they must be the technologies that can be adopted easily by the African farmers, that bring socio-economic benefits to the African farmers, and fit within the environment of the small-scale farmers in Africa. Mm -hmm. And what have you found are these technologies? Is it, is it mobile phones? Uh, what sort of technologies are we seeing in Africa? No, we are mo much more focusing on agricultural ones. We are, we are like those that affect uh, drought, for example, disease and pests, you know, use of nitrogen. The, you know, these are the technologies. What we do is that we look in the production chain what are the available technologies in Africa? What other best technologies are there? Mm -hmm. We believe the African farmer deserves the best of the technologies as other farmers out, mm -hmm. but they must be within the suited environment. Mm -hmm. Now looking at the changing landscape of African agriculture and certainly to the future, uh, what it's going to bring, we're seeing some of the government slowly changing their minds when it comes to GMOs, uh, for example. Where do you see that going? No, there's a, lo a lot of improvement. You know, at first in, in the media, globally, there was negative publication, uh, you know, publicity of GMOs. But we see globally an increase in positive pub you know, publicity mm. after, you know, two decades, 20 years, in fact, 21 years today in, a, in a commercialization. The farmers have seen the benefits. They have seen the, you know, the socioeconomic, the, the, the gain from there. They have seen the, the, these technologies address more of the complicated, uh, you know, challenges that would not have been addressed. Of course, it is with the use, they are used with combination of other conventional technologies. Mm, but there was a lot of resistance. There to was a lot of resistance. No, but uh, in, we must praise the media, yeah, you people. You, you know, the positive uh, commenting about them has really contributed a lot. Mm, mm. Because the, in the past, people were used only to the negative side of it. Right. But now the positive side of it, and having been in cultivation for 20 years, people have seen, the thing is believing. Mm. Yeah. Now one of the major reasons people are using for these GMOs going forward is the fact that we saw the fall army war cause a lot yes. of devastation yes. Yes. Uh, across the continent. It reduced a lot of agricultural output across uh, the continent. Is this still a major concern moving forward? And certainly what are the challenges we're going to see Africa's agriculture, uh, agricultural sector likely face uh, moving forward? Yeah, the way you have put it, like the fall army war, I mean to the it is an, an, a pest of uh, Latin American origin, uh, America, if I may call it in general, but has come in and, uh, you know, to give brings new challenges. And in the future, we are going to see even more challenges due to climate change. So this is where, you know, African government should be posed in such a way that they're able to accept all kinds of technologies mm. to form an, what I call an in integrated package so that you have the GMOs, you have the best practices, you have, mm -hmm. the, have the policies, the regulations that are favoring the uptake of these technologies. Mm -hmm. yeah. and, and what about the fall army war? Do you think it's going to be a major problem in the coming It season? is already a big problem and has come to stay. And what are your thoughts about how it's been handled moving forward? I, I think the approach, although you know, managing some of these biological problems, uh, it, it takes some time. 
But you know, for Amewam does not recognize borders. So we need regional approach. And I'm glad the, the FAO, the Food and Agriculture Organization of the United Nations, working with the other partners like the International Maize Improvement Center, like Alliance for Green Revolution, even our organization is part of that uh, consortium, all coming together to develop a package, you know, that would be be able to address the follow-up um, um, very quickly. Mm. Yeah. Now you talked about the FAO, but what about African governments? We're seeing them sort of changing slowly in terms of regulation. What are your thoughts on how far we still need to go? It has been a, a positive move. If we were to compare 10 years, 10 years ago, how the African governments have changed in making their policies and regulations favorable for uptake of new technologies especially. There has been a great development and it's very encouraging if the trend goes on. Mm. And with challenges like the four AME1, there won't be any choice because these, they are the they are these technologies that will solve the problem faster than just playing with chemicals and, uh, and the rest of it. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, many thanks for joining us Thank in the you. sector. Many thanks for your insights. Of course, yeah. that was the executive director of the African Agricultural Technology Foundation, Mr. Dennis Kieteri.